In this video, we will be comparing and contrasting three classic pedals from the Boss Wazacraft range. A Super Overdrive, Blues Driver, and Distortion. Each of these Wazacraft pedals has two modes. You've got Standard Mode, which is a complete redesign of the original circuit, so it's you know, lower noise threshold, all that sort of good stuff. And then you've got Custom, which adds a second voice to the pedal. Now, the three have a very different tonal palette, so Let's dive in and check out some riffs. Now, first up, I want to do a direct comparison just with everything at 12, just so you can get a, a rough feel of the variance between the three. And then we'll dive into them individually and stack them and, you know, play two together and all that sort of stuff. So it's going to be fun. So first up, Super Overdrive. I'm going to play a bit of chord dry. Here's my clean tone. <laughs> So not super clean, right? Using the Morgan MVP 66 back there. So the super overdrive with everything in the middle, think chord dry main riff. Next up, Blues Driver. So a bit more gain, isn't there? And it's almost a, almost getting into ratty territory. So for the blues driver, I'm thinking Radiohead's Creep. both those pedals you can hear the individual definition of the notes ringing out and for the distortion I'm thinking Nirvana's Francis Farmer still getting some of those individual notes ringing out. So let's have a closer look at the SD1W and I'm going to be giving you a little secret use of this pedal because you can get really good Josh Homme and Queens of the Stone Age uh, light gain tones with this. Now the pedal itself you've got two modes right standard which is an amp like almost tube screamer tone and custom which is has a bit more gain and an increased tonal range. Now check these settings out we're in standard mode right and it's perfect for I sat by the ocean. All that good stuff, right? Again, clean tone. It gives you that low end growl, right? But notice I got the drive all the way down, right? So you can really use it for tone shaping. It'll also do like bandoliers. Add a bit of space echo. And you're away. Now check these settings out. Drive is still at zero, but I've cranked the level and the tone. On the standard mode, Custom mode. So a bit of a bumping gain and just sounds fuller. And if we move into neck position, that's also cool for under the bridge. Now check this out, if I add the distortion pedal after it, 
the SD1W is going to be boosting that as well, right? And I've also got the level and the distortion cranked. You get a really nice John Frusciante kind of lead tone. You know, that almost fuzzy tone that he has with his... Uh, I know he uses a DS2 cranked, right? But check it out. <laughs> Any excuse I get to play that, I will. Forgive me. So on standard mode, let's have a look how much game we've got on offer. We're starting with everything in the middle apart from the game, which is at nine o'clock. And we'll use Pearl Jam's Core Dry as an example. So we have... <laughs> If we move the drive into the middle. So you're pretty much at the same distortion level that they use when they play it live. And then when the drive up full, not a huge amount of difference. And then custom mode. So it's not night and day, it's just a subtle increase. Now, if you were going to play the live version of this, there's a solo right at the end. But even with these settings and the gains, or, you know, three o'clock, you're not going to get the same saturation you would get with the blues drive or the distortion pedal. And then with the blues driver. You know, much more suited to lead playing, right? Now, one more setting with the Super Overdrive, because I think um, the Edge has used these. So, over to the Blues Driver with these settings. Let's check out the range of gain we have on offer here, right? Everything's in the middle, except for the game, which is at nine o'clock. Clean tone again. Blues driver. This is the standard circuit, right? Uh, and then with the gain at halfway. And if we crank it up to about three o'clock. starting to get a little bit fuzzy isn't it when you when you crank it now if we go over to the custom side of the pedal you've got much more body right and sustain <laughs> Speaking of body, let's go for some body snatcher, shall we? It'll also get you into early Foo Fighters territory. The outro riff to This Is A Call is one of my faves. Let's try some humbuckers and with these settings, some classic grunge, the chorus to Black Hole Sun. <laughs> the blues driver and the super overdrive together so for do the evolution stones part goes like this <laughs> a 
Mike's part goes like this. And then together we have this. the same approach for Smashing Pumpkins Siva, I'm going to use the blues driver for this part. And the distortion for the same part. So we can hear those two played together. Next up, the distortion. Now we've got two modes again. Standard mode is much more scooped sounding like this. Custom. I think that custom voicing is awesome. Uh, and it also helps you to really cut through in band situations. If I roll the distortion back a bit. It cleans up really nicely. Now back to standard mode with these settings and I'll do my clean tone first. We'll do a bit of Smell Like Teen Spirit. everything in the middle but we're on the custom side now that extra mid-range is really tasty because it almost gets you into a live territory <laughs> not quite but the super overdrive it's almost a TS type boost so that into this distortion pedal check it out sounds great now let's crank the gain right up Nice distortion, isn't it? Also very good for Radiohead's airbag. Everything in the middle, again, with the uh, custom setting, gives you some really nice kind of punk rock tones as well, like uh, American Idiots. Now, another thing you can do, this is my clean tone again, is you can turn the gain right up on your amp and you get a really nice guitar tone. So allow me to play you out with Joe Satriani's Flying in a Blue Dream, and I hope you enjoyed this little comparison vid. See you soon.